so the rally is going to start in just a minute. People want to gather around a little bit to be able to watch the performers. So my name is Louisa Braun. I'm a senior at Montpelier High School, and I'm one of the organizers of this event. Uh, <laughs> thank you. The Race Against Racism was founded in 2017 by Hope Petraro, a Montpelier High School sophomore. Hope sought to call attention to racism in our schools and community and to provide an opportunity to come together to listen to the voices of people of color in our state in order to learn, grow, and support one another. This year, all profits from the race will be split between two local nonprofit organizations, the Central Vermont Action Network and building, the Central Vermont Refugee Action Network, sorry, um, and building fearless future, futures. The Central Vermont Refugee Action Network is a Montpelier-based nonprofit that works to provide a supportive and welcoming community for new Vermonters coming from countries around the world. Building Fearless Futures is a local Vermont nonprofit that brings anti-racist programming into schools with the goal of dismantling white supremacy in education and supporting the futures of students of color. Both organizations are here tabling today, so be sure to stop by and learn more about their work um, at these tables over here. All right. And first up, we have A2VT, a performance group from Winooski. How we doing? Good money. Right here, right here. Diesel. 
You know, tell me out a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. The party, party, party without, party without the vibe, man. You know, it's not a good, good party. The next song right here. Uh, I think we all know. If you don't know, now you know. All right, DJ, level up. Tell me up, loud as you can. All right. Okay. I want you to clap your hands for me on this one right here, right here. We're playing dope. 
When no one's in my town, when no one's in my town, when no one's in my town. Everybody knows that we live in a town. Sing along! When no one's in my town, when no one's in my town, when no one's in my town. I think I, I've been here a couple times, and I always have a good time every time I come here. Shout out to Montpelier High School. <laughs> Our next song right here. <laughs> this song right here is for the ladies, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Can't end the show without it, doing a song with, for the ladies. Level up, level up, let's go! She wanna do maybe time she come around me. I can think no doubt I'ma give you that love, but she don't wanna put us in you again. Only one chance, that's all I'm giving her. Then she had to find it and I'm living her. I can think no doubt, I can think no doubt, I can think no doubt she know that. One time only, all you girls wanna come to me. Take your time, wind up the slope, it's just a 
a me, I know go one night low. I take it back, girl, I bring it back home. It's just a me, I know go one night low. One time only, all you girls wanna come to me. One time only, yeah, you girls wanna fall in love. One time only, one time only, all you girls wanna come to me. One time, one time, one time only, yeah, you girls wanna fall in love. One time only, all you girls wanna come to me. One time, one time. Love it, love. That's great. I love it. Thank you, guys. I like the energy. This is the love that I get every time I come over here. You know, power. You know, together we, we believe we can make a change in this world. You know what I mean? We have to stand for each other, no matter where you're from, no matter what color you are. You know, I believe in that because that's that's where we come from. I come from Africa, Somali, in a small village called Jilip. And that's that's what I go by name, A.K.A. Jilip. And, you know, being here for after 18 years, I learned a lot. And uh, we want to make a change. And I believe in you. I stand with you guys. And thank you again. Shout out to everybody here. Thank you. And don't forget, we got CDs for sale and T-shirts for sale to support the uh, ATVT. Once again, check me out on ATVT.com. You know, we do performance around a lot, and come check us out more. Nightclubs. Thank you. All right, thank you, A2BT. Next up, we have Isaac Duncan. A fresh Who's a freshman here at NHS with a speech for us. So here is Isaac. Thank you for coming today. My name is Isaac Duncan and I'm a Kazakh American freshman at MHS. I'm going to tell you about the everyday struggle for black and brown people in Vermont. First off, yes, racism exists in Vermont. Many have this false assumption that Vermont is a small, close, safe state of people where there is no injustice at all. This is wrong. Though kindness and hate come in many forms, when I see, experience, or think about racism, I think of two main kinds. These are hate and ignorance. Both come from many overlapping thoughts and causes, but eventually you begin to see the difference in them. Hateful racism is blatant. Hateful racism has gone from colonizing to enslaving to segregating, racially motivated violence and yelling slurs. In that sense, you're right, this area does not have a lot of that. But ignorant racism can be hidden. Ignorant racism is not hating another race, but failing to respect them, see them, or look deeper into their history, problems, and culture. Ignorant racism is hard to understand when you're white. It's gone from giving another race less rights to spreading rumors about others to unknowingly misrepresenting or underrepresenting a race to telling jokes and making comments and assumptions that aren't always about race but always trace back to it when you look deeper. And Vermont has loads of this. If you walk down a hallway, you'll hear an Asian joke, you'll see a white student touch a black student's hair, or you'll hear a white teacher say and excuse this language, Orientals, blacks, or Indians. The intent might not be so bad, but that's not what it feels like. I might sound sensitive or uptight, but I can take a joke. It's just that these issues are not jokes. If I tell a joke about Asian people, that's because I've been through a time when it was used as an insult. If a white kid tells an Asian joke, he can never know what it feels like to be the target of it. Most of the time, the stereotype is that we do karate, we're good at math, and that our eyes look weird. How do you think that impacts the many Asian kids who are second generation immigrants and have the pressure of their family to do well in school just so they can get by? How do you think that impacts other Asian students like me who look different than everybody else no matter how we dress? If I could go back to give younger me advice, it would be to educate yourself outside of school and just stay quiet. Because younger me, who didn't know about race yet, just liked doing challenging math problems or answering questions. Sure, I might be good at some subjects, but there's so many other people in my classes who are better. But still, when we get put in groups, a lot of people lean on me to do the work. I've been labeled as a smart Asian kid just because I chose to do well in school. Sorry. Um, I've reinforced the stereotype that we're nerds and that you can give us all the work. But here's the thing. I was adopted into a middle class white family of doctors and I'm a generation ahead because my parents are old. All of that pressure is still there. They don't say it, but I know my family wants me to be a doctor because they believe that I can do it. 
Truth be told, I probably can, and you probably could too. The problem is that I don't want to be a doctor and reinforce that stereotype. The problem is that I can't change my color, nor what I want to. The problem is that if I stop doing well in school and just do music like I want to, then I've failed. It's a lose-lose scenario, because I know I can do well in school, and not doing that comes off as lazy and dumb. But if I keep doing well, I'm a walking stereotype. Being the first means paving the way for others. It's fallen on me as one of the few Asians in our school to fix these problems when it should not be my responsibility alone or even that of a group. Though I want to help, I also deserve to live my life and be a kid like everybody else. I have the responsibility as probably the first Cossack to attend MHS to do the best to support my culture. I have the responsibility to my family to do the best that I can to support my parents when they retire, which could come by the time that I'm 20. And it's hard not being able to fit in. When I enter a room, I'm usually the only brown dude. When I'm around, sorry, my the wind. All right. When I'm around other brown people, I'm usually the only Asian kid. And I and when I meet other Asian people, they treat me differently because I'm darker and I express myself in different ways. Even when I meet other Kazakh Americans, I'm too American. I know that I shouldn't need validation from others, but society says that I do. From who? White people. No matter how many times I tell myself to not care and just be me, there's a little voice in my head telling me. Man, I got a two on this test. What would my people think of me? Or, okay, if I walk into this store with my dad, I'll look suspicious. Or maybe I should ask this person out. But wait, no, the media has deemed Asian men unattractive. That's the stuff that only people of color can understand. We need affinity spaces where we can go and not think about these things. This event's funding goes to those spaces, and I truly hope that you contribute to one in your community, whether that be by finding someone to start one, being a white ally, or donating to these groups. Thank you for coming today, and I hope my words made you think. Next up, we have uh, Rajni Eddins, who's a celebrated spoken word poet. And here he is right now. Yeah. Up for Rajni. Can you hear me? Yeah. Let's have a tremendous amount of applause for all the youth and collaborators who've worked together so hard to put together this event. We really need more events like this. I'm gonna share two pieces, one by my mother, uh, called Nobody Came, about the need for peace in the world, that I know we all have the capacity to honor, and then a piece from my text, Their Names Are Mine, called For Trayvon, Mike Brown, and the Countless Unnamed. But before I do that, I'd like to make sure I invite each of you to a pretty historical event that's happening June 18th. We just found out uh, recently that we have secured the necessary funding to put on the first ever Black Unity Summit in the history of Vermont and New England, unifying black people across the diaspora. That's gonna be June 18th from 4 to 7 p.m. And our keynote and panelist is Dr. Angela Davis. For those of you who know who that is, I know you know what that means. If not, start Googling right away. All right. So this piece right here is called Nobody Came. When you learn your part, please sing along. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. I'd like there to be a war where very good. Where the gunners didn't show and the flyers didn't flow, like a river carrying death to those below. Where artillery moved too slow, missed the boat and the whole dang show. And we all refused to go, I said, we all refused to go. I'd like there to be a war where. I'd like there to be a war where. Where the infantry said no. In crisp tones that taste of snow And the bombers stated clear They won't go in any year And sharpshooters closed their eyes Much to the brass great surprise And there was peace with no reprise We chose the peace with no reprise I'd like there to be a war where I'd like there to be a war where where we first would check ourselves, see what our causes do foretell, tweak what tweaking would do well, then maybe check ourselves again. Remembering some crazy macho win does not signify a win, cannot signify a win. So I'll say it once again, I'd like there to be a war where 
I'd like there to be a war where We'd like there to be a war where Wouldn't you? Give it up for yourselves, beautiful, well done. Yes, war cannot take place without people compromising. There's nobody there to fight it, it can't happen. This next piece is called for Trayvon, Mike Brown, and the countless unnamed. And before I started, I just want to give another warm round of applause for Brother Isaac being so courageously vulnerable, sharing his truth and honoring our own. Keep up the good work, man. For Trayvon, Mike Brown, and the countless unnamed. Lynching is not dead. It's done in broad daylight, under the hot lights of media frenzy, for black blood, white guilt, white fear, and white acquittal, where brown boys are still expendable. Michael Vick should have had Zimmerman's lawyer. Brown boys are worth less than black dogs. Trayvon should have been a brown lab. Maybe then we'd see more of a humane society's presence. If poems could merge in the streets, overturn verdicts, bring corrupt police to justice, if they could bring a boy back his life and a mother back her son, a father back his boy, return bullets to a gun, unloose the lynch rope and unravel the knots from choked throats, we would not be choking on tears. When do our lives become valuable in the eyes of the law? When does hate cease to be exonerated behind a badge and lighter skin? And God forbid you wear a hoodie in the rain while having black skin with Skittles in your pocket. You can taste the rainbow, but you can't taste freedom. You can taste your own blood, but you can't taste the rainbow. Diversity is white people's cold word for niggers. You can taste the rainbow, but not if you're too dark. The rainbow may come during the storm. If you're too dark on a block, in a hoodie, and the Skittles fall from your pocket, you never taste the rainbow. Your killer has the right to stand his ground. He may shoot you in the heart, and America may relive it in sordid detail. She is only reliving her nightmares. She dreams nightmares often. Open caskets, ashes, weighted limbs, no coffins. Two, his name is Trayvon Martin. Say it. Trayvon Martin. Khalif Browder. Khalif Browder. Corey, Jones. Corey Jones. Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray. Michael Savvy. Michael Savvy. Delron Small. Small. Terrence Sterling. Terrence Crutcher. Terrence Crutcher. Joseph Mann. Joseph Mann. D. Wiggum. Keith Lamont Scott, Keith Lamont Scott. Tyree, King. Tyree King, Jarevis Scruggs, Scruggs. India, Cager. India Cager, Darren Seals, Darren Seals. Anthony, Nunez. Anthony Nunez, DeAndre Joshua, DeAndre Joshua. Philando Castile, Philando Castile. Alton, Sterling. Alton Sterling, Corin Gaines, Corin Gaines. Oscar, Grant. Oscar Grant, Mackenzie Cochran, Mackenzie Cochran. Jordan, Jordan Baker, the Charleston Nine, Andy Lopez, Andy Lopez. Miriam Carey, Carey. Kamani Gray, Kamani Gray. Timothy, Stanberry. Timothy Stanberry, Sean Bell, Sean Bell. Sandra, Bland. Sandra Bland, Natasha McKenna, Natasha McKenna. Rakina, Jones. Rakina Jones, Samuel Hose, Samuel Hose. Maya, Hall. Maya Hall, Darnisha Harris, Harris. Alicia, Thomas. Alicia Thomas, Tarika Wilson, Tarika Wilson. Troy Good, Good. Benzel Hampton, Benzel. Aaron Campbell, Alonzo Ashley, Alonzo Ashley, Rennell Lewis, Lewis. Wendell Allen, Allen, Tanisha Anderson, Tanisha Anderson Dante, Parker, Dante Parker, Victor White, Victor White Jonathan, Farrell, Jonathan Farrell, Eric Garner, Eric Garner John Crawford, Crawford Ezell Ford, Ford, Keith Vidal, Keith Vidal Michael, Brown, Michael Brown, Jordan Davis, Jordan Davis Akai Gurley, Gurley Romaine Brisbane, Romaine Brisbane, Darian Hunt, Darian Hunt Kajim Powell, Powell, Tamir Rice, Tamir Rice Jack Jaquez, Manuel Loggins, Manuel Loggins Ayanna, Jones, Ayanna Jones, Melissa Williams, Melissa Williams Chavez, Chavez Carter, Carter, Maria Godinez, Maria Godinez David, Latham, David Latham, Yvette Smith, Yvette Smith Louis, Rodriguez, Louis Rodriguez, Matthew Paolo, Paolo Amadou Diallo, Diallo, his name, he has a name. His name is I Can't Breathe. His name is Emmett Till. His name, his name, his name, you must remember his name. James Byrd Jr. James Bird, Jr. He may whisper it in the wind. You may hear it in your skin. His name is guilty in his innocence. Freedom fighter, martyr, troublemaker. His name, 
Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, he has a name. His name is Black Boy, Blacklisted, Blackballed. His name is Black Power, Black Babies in a Black Market for Green Cash, Stolen Life, Tied to a Tree, Burnt at the Stake. His name, Probable Cause, The Negro Problem, Chalk Outline, White Man's Fear. His name, Ear for Souvenir. His name, Black Nigger Boy. Fred Hampton, Huey P. Newton, Mega Evers. His name saves lives, mobilizes movements. His name is Watch for a Black Messiah, Bullet to the Heart, Boy in Jaws of Wolf, White Girl Card Rape, Whistle Too Free, Head Too High. His name looked me in my eye, his name must die. Gangster, thug, menace, stereotype. His name is Wretch Like Demon. His name is taken to the Iron Bridge on Main Street. His name? His name's legs to pull until his neck cracks. Stabbed, hung, shot, burned, ravaged by relic hunters. His name is Mistaken Identity, Scottsboro Boys, The Ski Experiments, David Walker, Living, Breathing, Black Manhood, Heathen, Pagan, No Salvation. His name is, you free nigga, now get over it. Kuta Kente, Stolen African, Strange Fruit, Stranger in a Strange Land, In Danger of Deranged Hands, Enemy of the State, Genetic the center, asphalt art, bloody memory, collateral damage, white man's burden. That happened so long ago. Chain gang, wage slave, chattel, on the rack, in the irons, on the run, wanted. His name is arthritic hands that felt more thistles than cotton. His name is put your hands up. Spread them. Stop or I'll shoot. His name is bang. 41 shots. Asada Shakur, Angela Davis, Breakfast Program, Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. His name is, his name is, he has a name. His name is beaten severely, urinated on dawn chain by the ankles. His name is dragged for three miles and decapitated. 81 places have the remains. His name is missing an arm. His name is Crackhead, War on Drugs, War on Poverty, Scapegoat, Sacrificial Lamb. His name is Kicked Carcass, Convict, Criminal, Thief, Drug Dealer, Victim. Still a child whose name will never breathe again. His name as a mother. His name is Expendable, Sundown Laws, Jim Crow Cars, Jim Crow Bars. His name is Racial Profiling in court. Just call him Profiling, because this is not about race. His name is Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass, Ida B. Wells. No rights a white man is bound to respect. His name has a title when he dies. His name is Mr. Martin, wearer of the black hoodie, walker of the home path, wrong place, wrong time, wrong skin, wrong crime. His name is Holder of the Skittles. His name, his mother knows his name. Her tears spell it in big, bold letters down her cheeks. His name is Gone Too Soon. His name is Darky, Spook, Jigaboo, Sambo. His name is different. Too difficult to be pronounced by thin lips with forked tongues. His name dies without justice. Missing, lost, bottom of the ocean, shark food, triangle trade of littered bones. His name is Sunchild, star fruit, young, gifted, and black, but you can call him nigger. His name, he has a name. His name is the sun is rising. His name is wake up! I know his name because his name is mine. Thank you, Rajni. Next, we have Jojo Michelson, who's a junior here at MHS. And she's gonna sing for us. So here's Jojo. Okay, this is coming off. I don't, you, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. Um, Cody, if <laughs> you wanna, can we pinch this? Oh, there we go, okay, perfect. Um, my, <laughs> okay, my first, the first song I'm going to be singing is Stand Up from the movie Harriet. If you haven't seen that, I recommend. Um, many of you probably know this song because I've sung it a bunch, but you know, <clears throat> it's okay. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. 
water. Okay, hi, hi. Thank you. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Drink my water. Drink my water. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, I need to speak about this because, oh gosh, okay. So, 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 okay. This next one is an original song that I wrote myself. I spent, I wrote this yesterday. Um, and I wrote this, no, wait, okay, I have a confession to make for my parents in the audience. I um, went into the car to write this and record this last night because I didn't want to interrupt my dad's snoring. So I, yeah, so I went into the car and I was so scared I thought that someone was gonna kill me, but it's okay. I, I was fine. I'm fine, I'm here. So um, I, oh yeah, and it's only like one minute because I'm not allowed to release the whole thing to you guys. So if you want more, I don't have anywhere for you to go, but if you want more, you can stay tuned. <laughs> Too many a day, someone's got to see me away. Pull it up, I'm waiting for someone's got to see me away. Take me by my hand, my dear, no one's got to feel your feet. But that was when he had me think. Place. Are you ready for this? He told me, turn around, come with me now, as you forget that, move on now. Turn around, come with me now, as you forget that, move on now. Turn around, come with me now, as you forget that, move on now. Turn around, come with me now, as you forget that, move on now. Central Vermont Refugee Action Network, who's one of our beneficiaries today. Uh, so, Ghazi, if you're right here, all right, come on up. Uh, hi, friends. This is my friend Sarah. And uh, my last speak was five years ago. I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm Rufji here, I'm from Tunisia. I'm a politician and a refugee. When I was lost and alone in my darkness, I heard a voice coming from the west. The voice crossed the sea, and I heard the call of Lady Liberty, and she said, here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand, glorious worldwide welcome with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Send them the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. 
and I answered the call, and I'm here now. Because of Sigaran, the Central Vermont Refugee Action Network, I have a new home in this community, and I can breathe freely. I have come to dissolve into the fabric of the new mixed community in which here there is no difference because of race, sex, religion, or any other characteristic. This is the, this is the first gathering after COVID. And what did we learn from COVID? What you learn is that we are all the same. COVID doesn't discriminate because of race, religion, or sexuality. We saw the sadness visit all homes across the world. So what I learned is that COVID is not racist. The catastrophe hurts everybody, despite race, color, or origin. So for that, we have to be unified. That's the conclusion. Friends, we have to accept others. We don't know how hell will come or from home. So here on this beautiful spring day, this gathering itself is planting of the seeds of acceptance for our, our wonderful community. Together, we can grow unified through our experiences of sadness and hope, accept, accepting of all who breathe this air, all who drink in this beautiful sunshine on this precious earth and make it livable. Thank you and assalamu alaikum. Um, next up, just to close out our main portion of our rally, we have A2VT back with another set for us. Check, 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 check. Are we ready? Yes. Check, 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 check. Are we ready? Make some noise for me. When I say A2, you say VT, all right? One. A2! VT! A2! VT! A2! VT! A2! VT! A2! VT! Thank you, I appreciate it. Next artist I want to bring in the stage is Draken. All right? Straight from Congo. This guy has a lot of energy. Every time he comes on the stage, I don't know, he does some crazy stuff. But I want to introduce you to Draken. The king. Please welcome on stage. Come here. Level up. Whoa. Okay, already. I tell you. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready one. Drake in the building. Turn me up. Level up. Level up. Yes, 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 yes. Play, 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 play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm the king, yeah. I'm the king, yeah. Come here. I'm the king, you are the king, I'm the king, yeah. Let's go. I'm the king, why you can, I'm the king, yeah. I'm the king, why the king, I'm the king, yeah. I don't say, don't say, to Lia. I don't say, don't say, to Lia. Yeah. 
I'm the king, why the king, I'm the king, yeah. I'm the king, why the king, I'm the king, yeah. I'm the king, why the king, I'm the king, yeah. platform available thank you thank you one more time for Jacob that's Jacob if you want to find a Jacob you have to find an A to VT you know what I mean the next artist I want to bring in this guy can sing French like there's no team model uh, if, you, if you know French and you vibe in the French all right this guy got the vibe all right Please, welcome on the stage, episode. Oh, yeah. Shit, show them what you got, bro. Let's, go. Let's get it. Love a lot, love a lot. Tommy up. Yo. I'm outside. Oh. Yes. Yo, yo, whoa. Okay. Let's go. Pass it out. Yes. Yo. Thank you so much. One more time for Ebizo. Hi. 
thank you, thank you. This guy, you, you want to find this guy? Find me first, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know, this is my brother, man. He's been working with me for a minute. I like his energy, I like his vibe. It really matches ATVT, you know. And uh, next song we're about to do, I want to introduce you on the stage, all right? R.O.D. R.O.D. Straight from Florida. Let's go. He's going to tell you all about himself later on. Please, welcome. Yo, 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 my pill, yeah. Let's go. Feel like Florida out here, man. I, I go by real over the sea, man. That's what, I, that's what I go by. That's how I live my life, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here making music like seven years now. I met up with A2VT, did a single with them, and we've been out here doing it ever since. So I believe in the law of attraction. So I make a lot of money. Well, I make a, I make a lot of music about making money and how to make money and and just the aura of money. So here you go, man. DJ, drop the track, man. Drop it, drop it. Hey, I need a bag right now. 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 I'm adding to the money every time I step out. It's real overseas, gotta be show you how. To Vermont, you know, we don't choose though, and you know, we like everybody, man. We show love to everybody. Everybody. You know, really want to do it, you know, we're down for it. Yeah. Our next song, right here, pretty much, it's called Soul Survivor. Check out, listen to the lyrics. Pretty much everybody's been through what I'm saying in the track. You know, everybody can relate it to it. You know, of becoming, of your energy, your power, being through so much struggle, you know, coming through Somali, you know, born in the 80s. I don't know, man. But I see what I see, been through what I've been through, and I'm right here, Montpelia. How we doing? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Level up, level up. DJ, turn me up. Soul Survivor, sing along. Wanna sing? Wanna sing along this song? It's really easy. I'm gonna go through with you. Yes, yes, I'm a soul survivor. Yes, yes, I'm a soul survivor. Soul survivor. 
Proceeds to the event. They just asked me to let you know. Sorry, hey. y'all. Sorry. Maybe another time. You do. I'll let your fans. Nitya Sharma, Celeste Landertza, Louisa Braun, that's me, uh, Izzy Hubble, Tatiana Heinz, and Eva Stump. And uh, we would also like to thank Heather McLean, who's a social studies teacher here at MHS and has helped organize this race uh, since it was founded. We would also like to thank Woodbelly Pizza. Um, 
as was just mentioned, for donating their profits from today. So everyone go and buy a slice of pizza.